Okay, a week after my previous video where I showed the replacement of the two front wheel bearings and the rear wheel bearings, uh, this happened. It was a an old lady returning back from a shopping trip and according to the police when when they spoke to her it was a a momentary lapse of concentration but as you can see it caused a fair amount of damage i mean it completely wrote her car off i'll insert a few pictures but it also theoretically has written off uh, my discovery the insurance company uh, her, her insurance company are footing the bill as they as they should it is my understanding that they are in the process of writing it off so I need to find a replacement, which is quite frustrating when you look at the, the vehicle itself. Yes, I know it's quite old. Yes, it could be in a better condition, but it's had a lot of work done on it. There are no major structural problems with it. The engine is fine. The electrics are good. The bodywork is good. It just needs a good clean and a bit of a, a, bit of a polish. It's a good vehicle um, and through five seconds of someone's negligence for want of a better word i think you, it's quite how it's quite easy to call it negligence it was negligence um the vehicle is now uh, written off it's gone i am unaware at the moment how much money the insurance company think it's worth uh they will obviously always round down however Personally, I, I feel like they should put me in a position that I was prior to the accident. I was sat watching YouTube at the time of the accident. I heard a huge bang, came out to see the damage. It is in no way my fault or responsibility. The insurance company have said as much. Uh, the downside is I lose my vehicle. And if the insurance company have their way, they will pay the absolute bare minimum that they can get away with, which will not replace it. So there'll be more to follow. Um, at the moment though, this video, I just want to focus on the damage that the actual, uh, that the discovery has taken. When you compare the two vehicles, it is quite impressive. I'm going to say how little damage it's taken, because on the scale of things, yes, it's been written off. But when you compare what happened, what happened to both vehicles, um, yeah, it's quite impressive. Okay, so this is the first time after the uh, it's a couple of days after the after the accident, after the incident, and it's the first time I've actually stopped to take a close look at the damage. So you can see that the the impact basically has started right here. You can see the red rim, the red paint off the uh, off the car that hit. So it was it was more of a glancing blow, and it's what it's done. It's also struck the the wheel as well. It struck the um, struck the wheel, and it's pushed the wheel forwards. So you can actually see that it's it's basically peeled peeled the bodywork away, it's split it from the where it all joins up along there and it's folded all of this folded all of this back exposing we got the jack there and a couple of other bits and bobs so that's the just inside the, the wheel arch and obviously it's split and damaged the uh, the bumper and the the mud guards but uh, let's have a look underneath because I honestly don't know what damage has been caused here okay so wheels off I've got it jacked up on a on a stand and you can see a lot better now what the damage is so let me get in a slightly better position so you can see that's basically come out of of its hole it's basically pushed or pulled itself through the hole so the impact must have forced the wheel to turn this way and the whole thing head towards the front of the vehicle so the other bit of damage is here let me so you can see if, because let's sit in in line so you can see the whole knuckle has been pushed that way by what's that probably if you draw a straight line that should be on line there 
probably half an inch so the whole thing's been shifted over by half an inch the bushing at the back over there doesn't appear to be too bad neither does the one on the underneath over there so the two areas where damage has occurred are the top of the knuckle or rather top of the bracket that takes the top of the knuckle this bit here you can see that that's just bent out of whack and here so all of the force has basically crumpled this part of the of the tubing so obviously that should be relatively straight from there through to the bend that should be that should be a fairly straight line and again the bushing at the back or the main bushing from the bottom part of the bracket it seems okay and the other bushing this one here again that seems okay so I'm wondering if this can be fixed what I'm going to do is take some pictures and upload it to the insurance company that are handling the case it's not my insurance company it's the insurance company of the person that hit the vehicle so I'm going to take some pictures add a comment show what the actual overall damage is personally I think if you were to get a replacement um, I don't know what this part's called but if you were to basically get a replacement one of these this top bit where that bushing is so it bolts into that bushing it attaches to here it attaches up at the front over there if you were to get a new one of these because there's no way you can repair that well you could but I wouldn't trust it new one of those obviously I'll check the knuckle over work out how much damage the the strut has uh, caused when it pulled through in theory in theory I think that that might straighten out um, it's twisted I need to what I need to do is compare it with the the other side because uh, I'm not 100% sure what angles that where the um, where the, the suspension goes I'm not 100% sure if that's taken a whack it looks it looks to be in line it doesn't look bent or anything so but I'll check on the other side and see what what the angles and measurements should be but I don't know I'm not sure can this be repaired that is the question can the bodywork be repaired I've never done bodywork can it be straightened out or would it need a new piece putting in I just don't know I mean it, it's pulled it, the actual split is along the, the join here so there's rivets and everything gone there's a couple of bolts popped out can it be can it be straightened out and put back I genuinely don't know if anyone uh, has experience of doing work like this please let me know